I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling because we're going to create a mock Charleston and practice decision making pass by pass. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. The first one will be the dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles. The second one will be non-dealer, and we'll get 13 tiles. Then we'll be the dealer again and get 14 tiles. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 and 13 tiles respectively. Then I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Northwest, red, green, one bam. We have cracks, five, seven, nine, pair of nines, one, two, six in dots. There's some more bams, four, five, one, four, five. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the nines. So for these nines, we do have the matching dragon and we have odds. Odds, I think that's what I would focus on. There's even a hand here, five, seven, nine with dragons. This would be six hand down, five, seven, nine. There is an odd concealed hand where you have one, three, five, five, seven, nine. We have no flowers though. So I think we can come up with a pass out of these tiles. Two, four, north. That's the best we can do with these tiles, I think. So let's pass. We got a flower and we have odds. We still have tiles we can pass. We don't have to pick a hand yet. We're just going to gather odds. We have a one, a three, and a nine. All odds and the matching dragon. We have a flower. So this is when you would whittle down. We do have a potential for a pair hand here. One, three, five, seven, nine pairs. One, three, five, seven, nine. I think I would try for the one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand. I would pass these three. Flower. We have a pair of flowers. We have two tiles to pass. We went right across left. We're on second left. This is the point when you can stop the Charleston. We have the potential for a pair hand, but that would require us to pass a flower. We could do that. It would be risky, especially because the only other discard we have is another flower, which would mean if we get all keepers, we would have to pass another flower to a different player. The other idea 
is to play maybe the concealed hand and pass defensively. Pair of flowers, one, three, five, five, seven, nine. And then we have all these tiles that we can now pass. So there's really no right or wrong. You are free to pass flowers. It's very risky though. So you have to decide if you're willing to risk passing flowers. If you're playing a pair hand, that might be the time to do that. Let's just see what happens if we risk it. Let's see if we get any tiles for this pair hand. Let's keep going. We picked up a nine. So now we're gonna have to pass another flower. We have a pair of ones. We need bams and cracks. So we don't have keepers here. No keepers there. Optional cross. We got the flower back. So we risked it. We passed two flowers, one to each of our opponents and we are three away from a pair hand. We have a gap, no one cracks. We also need a three bam. So we need three bam, one cracks. We're the dealer for this one, so we have an extra tile. I would probably discard this first, and then we would have two discards to get to this pair hand. It's very risky passing flowers, but if you're playing a pair hand, it might be worth the risk. We have a joker, a red dragon, northeast west, pair of three bams, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and a nine crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? The first thing I notice is we have almost news. We have a pair of threes. Three, four. That's the making of the news pair hand. But we also have three, six, nine potential and a joker. I don't think I would play a pair hand if I start with a joker. I would play three, six, nine. Since we have so many discards, I think I would keep the four because maybe we could play something consecutive. I think I would pass these first. Keep every tile that fits the category. There's a green dragon. Did we pass a green dragon? Red dragon. Three, six, nine dragon. North 2-8. Nine dot, keep it. We have two tiles to pass. Two, that's three. One, two, three, three tiles. I think I was focused on the two crack. Three tiles to pass. Now this is a little risky passing two wins with news on the card, but let's see, we could actually make this better. 
let's give up the four. Look at all the three, six, nine potential we have. So let's make that a little better and give up the four. Nine. We have wins. I would not pass that. Not with news on the card. I think I would commit to three, six, nine with dragons. This would be the third hand down. So I would break this up. Pass. I think I would break up north and south because there are uh, several hands that use north and south together. We've got a six. We did pick up a pair. Three, six, nine. I think I would continue to break up these wins and I'd break up that pair because we only have six discards. If we get stuck with a pair, holding it maybe for joker bait, that's pretty risky. We still have three more passes, including the optional cross. I would pass a wind, maybe the nine four. This is not a bad pass. We got a flower. We could play three, six, nine with flowers. I would keep the white dragon. I think passing these three. Five, eight can be used in a couple of hands. There's four numbers in a range and five numbers in a range. I think I'd pass these. We got the nine back. I don't think that's going to be helpful though. I probably would focus on these. Probably discard in this order. Wins because number tiles are more likely going to be in exposures with jokers. Dragons, because they're a hot commodity. There's only three of them. And there are a lot of hands with dragons. Then I would discard year tiles. For 2020, that means twos. Then I would discard fives because that's the most efficient tile in the set. And then I would discard here. But I would also keep in mind discards. If tiles are being discarded, I would escalate that particular tile. And I would gather 369. We have no gaps. For either flowers with Kongs or 369 dragon. Jokers, flower, south, cracks with a pair of sixes, three, four, five, singles, one pair of eights in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would keep the six and the eight. Six, eight, that screams evens. There is a multiplication hand. Fifth hand down, four flowers, six, eight, four, eight. And we have a four. I think I might try the multiplication hand, but I think as plan B, I would hold consecutive. And we have tiles we can pass. No matter how you slice this, it's going to be a little risky. 
build your hand, pass as defensively as you can with your remaining tiles. This is as defensive as it can get, I think. And it's six one half dozen the other, really equal risk. We got an eight, six, seven, eight. There's a hand here, second hand down. Kong, Kong, pair Kong. Like numbers. That's almost as risky as passing a pair. Because we have a multiple now with a six and an eight, I think I would let the multiplication hand go. Let's see. The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could let the consecutive go and focus maybe on like numbers with eights or the multiplication hand. The thing about the multiplication hand is we need four flowers and we have one. One flower. The six, seven, eight hand, we need four. For like numbers with eights, we only need two flowers. Let's keep the four and let the seven go. We'll focus on like numbers with eights or evens. Whoa, look what we got. Wow, six, eight. Six, eight, six, eight, six, eight. That's not a hand. Kong of threes, two pair. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe play two, four, six, eight. Like numbers with eights or multiplication. Let's let the six go. We're on our first right across left first left we need to pick a hand pick a pick a hand probably here i think i would let the multiplication go simply because we don't have more flowers let's keep going There's a six, six, eight. Here's a four, two, four, six, eight. Let's break up the eights and focus on two, four, six, eight in one suit. Flower, red dragon. There's a hand with dragons. That's gonna require us to pass a white dragon. Pair of flowers. We have a Pung here. We could play maybe the first hand where we need to Kong, single, two, pair, four, Pung, six, Kong, eight. Or we could play two, four, six, eight with dragons. Let's risk it. Whoa, no keepers. Look, we got like numbers. So we risked passing a white dragon. Now do we risk passing like numbers? I think I would let the dragon go. We got the eight dot and a one crack. I don't think that's going to be helpful though. I think what I would do is keep the eight and pass these three. We got the eight back. I would maybe hold it for joker bait. Two, four, six, eight. I'd probably play the first hand. This is the big weakness, the four. If we can get that pair, Kong the eight, Kong the flowers, be ready to win on the two or hopefully draw that two before too long. We really don't even need the jokers. So I would probably discard those pretty quick. 
because we have all the jokers we need for that two, four, six, eight hand. We need a single pair Pung Kong. And we could Kong here and here. American Mahjong is very flexible. You can really make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. And that starts with picking the strength of the hand when you get those dealt tiles. Build around multiples or the predominant pattern. Gather tiles that support those multiples and pick a category to play that uses the most of your tiles. When you run out of discards, that's when you pick a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.